What is up, my brethren? Where, where are you guys? There you are. Hello. I leave my heart there. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to Skyrim. I'm getting sick of rabbit. You must be all right if you've got time to complain. I have other stuffs. Okay. Keep Here, your eyes I'm, open. I'm gonna help you. There you go. Okay. Hey, buddy! I don't know how you convinced Ulfric to talk to the Empire. Worse than a waste of time, if you ask me. I don't oh. know how you convinced Ulfric to mm. talk to the Empire. Worse than a waste of time, if you ask me. Mm. Okay. I guess I can't do this yet. I guess we're gonna go talk to Tilius. They don't like him. Where's the thing? Here it is. Mm. Of course you're in solitude. Where else would you be? I wish I wasn't sick. Oh, I wish I wasn't sick. I wish my throat did hurt so much. I wish I took my contacts up before this video to start it. Ah, dang it. That's what I was supposed to do. <laughs> Alright. You're in somewhere. Papa says I won't see Rob here anymore. But he wouldn't tell me why not. Because he was cute. Oh. I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow in the knee. There was a comic about that where it was actually a hawk. What? Huh? I saw two little red dots, didn't you? Okay, but where it was actually that, like, he took an arrow to the knee by proposing to a girl and then she died or something. The Emperor. Uh, yes, I did that, thank you. I mean, what? <laughs> Sorry, bad, sad to hear that. I don't want the mm -hmm, arrows on my back. Nope, 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 put that away. Do I have enough to change my boots back to the ones they were? I don't. Uh, I won't wear my normal boots. I've been wearing these to it once. The winking skeevers got warm beds and cold meat. <clears throat> you look like you could use Make it both. quick. I get I... enough delays from politicians. Um. The graveyards? Yeah. What do those old hermits want with me? They are convening a peace council at the High Hrothgar. Why? There's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. The emperor died. <laughs> what are you talking about? We need a truce. They are getting to be a problem. But I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that. Dragons or no dragons. <sighs> Dragons are a bigger problem than the storm cloaks right now. He just has much headway. I mean, he has, but I'm gonna well, say he that. may have a point. It's getting difficult to even move troops around without attracting a dragon attack. Mm-hmm. By all accounts, the storm cloaks are suffering just as badly. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna take care of the even whole dragon thing because it is annoying to have dragons just, just come and in attack in the middle of stuff. So I'm gonna do that first. Yes, yes, what fine. Is? I'll come Can to this graveyard council. Can you get out of my way, lady? For all the good it will do. Woohoo! Thanks, buddy. See you there. I'm gonna sell stuff first. So. The Greybeards have called a peace council at High Rothgar. How They're did you know? I just said that. Both Ulfric, Stormcloak, and General Tullius have agreed to go. <sighs> yes? These people are mind readers. <laughs> All right, time to sell stuff. Woo! Yeah. Ow. Where am I? Yes. Okay. Going to sell all my stuff. I wish I took my contacts out. They really, really hurt. <laughs> Hi. It's good to see. I so you're interested stuff. in my potions and ingredients? Yes. I'm interested in selling you my stuff. That I might want. No, you know what? So, uh, that I might want. I might want. Nope. Oh, whoops. Oh, here. Cool. 
Don't forget me next time you need herbs and potions. Yep, okay, whatever. Where's my fence? My fence always has 4,000. For a dragon to attack oh. Kynes Grove. I really should go to each Why? Thing. Why not? <laughs> Do you really think that the dragons are sitting around a table like, yeah, I'm gonna go here first? I don't know why the dragon sounds like that, but he does. Huh. Some might call this junk. Uh huh. Me, I call them treasures. Cool. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Okay. Come back to bits and pieces uh, anytime. Da, 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 da. I'm selling my stuff. I'm making some money. Some money. Some money. I don't know why I'm singing. I'm going here first because I know he has a lot of stuff. My eyes hurt. I want to keep them closed, but I can't because I got to play the game. Hey, buddy. Ah, oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a weird smile on his face. <laughs> Here you go, all my flawless stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. Oh shoot! Wow, I sold all that all the stuff, and wow. Awesome. Just remember me if you get your hands on anything else. Oh, I wish I could take them out. But that would take time and possibly scratching my corneas. Because I don't Divine's have blessing. Thank you. Hi, I'm about to take all the money you own. Oh, let me just drop clothes and raiment for the discerning I customer. I really don't like you. Hey, so uh, take this, take this, take this, take this. You still have money left? Okay, cool. Take this, take this, take this, take this, and no. <laughs> hmm. Here, have that. No, no, never mind. No, I don't mind. I'll give you something that's worth money. Finally. Yes. Like her. <laughs> okay, I can wear the boots I want to wear. Though. Put them back on. Yay! No, I'm not. Damn. Is there anything I can read that's like a mm. this thing? Oh, cool. Okay, give me that. Uh, that's stolen. Yep, journal. That I already read. Nope, that is the thing. I already read that, I guess. I already read that, I guess. Woohoo! Not that I use most of those things, but whatever. <sighs> I'm gonna put my other boots back on. <laughs> Me and boots? It's weird. No, I. What did I? Now I'm barefoot. There we go. You're doing. You know you can afford a septum or two. Mm, I did. <laughs> Alright, to Rothgar. Uh, she does. Yeah. I mean, she's annoying as hell. Mm. Oh, I want to rub my eyes so badly. But I can't. I would quite literally go blind. Maybe if there's a cutscene, I'll take him out. Like a long cutscene. Hi. So, you've done it. The men of violence are gathered here. Already? These halls, whose very stones are dedicated to peace. Cool. And I should not have agreed to host this Seat. council. The Greybeards have no business involving Seat. ourselves in such Seat. matters. Seat. Peace? <laughs> I doubt it. They may put their weapons down for a moment, but only to gather strength for the next bloodletting. They're not yet yeah. tired of war. Far from it. Do you know the ancient Nord word for war? Season unending. Wow. And so it has proved. Hmm. But regrets are pointless. 
Here we are. Come on, let's go. Take your seat at the council table. Yes. And let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors. Does Cicero have a, have, a, have a seat? He better have a seat. Hello. Three. So, arm gear. You know why we're here. Okay. You know what? Uh, I need you to. Do Does it involve sneaking and stabbing? Ooh. <laughs> Please say yes. Much right to be at this council. Oh yes, listener. More actually. Sit here. We With pleasure, my listener. Mm -hmm. Where are you? Hubris of the Blades truly knows no bounds. And, you uh, nope. want me to do something or not? <clears throat> wait here. Yes, listener. I will remain in this nope, very I gotta wait spot until, says until you tell me otherwise. Here. Spiders could eat my face off, and faithful Cicero would not move an inch. Let's go home. Home again! Home uh, again! <laughs> very well. I'll Hello. To the night. You may I away. believe I'm at the top. Thank you. I will sit in my chair. Everyone else join me, please. Please join me. Join me, please. Yo! Join! Me. I hear the door of Cicero leaving. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who is that? Excuse me a second. Who is that? Who are you? The blade people! I didn't go back to them. Whoopsies. Join me, everyone. We are now that everyone is here, please take your seats All right. so we can begin. Quick save here, because I don't know what I'm doing. All right, everyone sit. I need to take this out. I oh hope God. that we have all come here no. in the spirit you of... insult us by bringing her to this negotiation. Who? Oh, her, yeah. Your chief Talos hunter? That yes. didn't take long. Here, here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. Oh, She's I got part about. of the oh, Imperial wow. delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please, if we have to negotiate the terms oh, of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. Uh, why would you break me? Please okay. Must be <clears throat> the nerve of those imperial bastards, eh? To think that we would sit down with that. that I mean, bitch. I say she walks or we walk. <sighs> oh, I mean, you're right. This has nothing to do with her. Ah, it's the Maybe harm. so, but bringing her here. <sighs> Is a deliberate provocation. Yeah, it feels like we, we should be having a conversation a little bit closer. Be pushed around. Sit. <sighs> yeah. We're off to a good start. Very well, Ulfric. Enjoy your petty victory. Out to go. The Thalmor will treat with whatever government rules Skyrim. We would not think of interfering in your civil war. Then why are you ah, here? Skyrim will never bow to the Thalmor. There you go. Unlike your imperial friends here. You're lucky I respect the Greybeard's council, Galmar. Hey, sit. Legate, we represent the Emperor here. Who, uh... Sorry, sir. Died. It won't happen again. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? One moment. Oh. Here You're we sitting go. next to me? I just want to make clear that the only reason I agreed oh, to attend this council was to deal with the dragon menace. Who else would be sitting here? I have no authority to negotiate a permanent settlement, unless Ulfric is ready to sue for peace and turn himself over to Imperial justice. Master Angir, are We are here you going to, to arrange a temporary to... truce to allow the dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. We consider even sitting down to talk with these rebels more than generous. 
<sighs> Enough posturing, Tullius. If you came to talk, let's get on with it. Fine. Let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? General Tullius. Jarl Ulfric. This council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar. And do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Our terms are simple. Riften must be returned to Imperial control. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. What? Elisif, are you really going to be a party to this foolishness? Do you really think Ulfric will just turn Riften over because some Imperial general barked an order? That's quite an opening demand, Tullius. Ulfric, Hold on, what do we get? You can't be taking this demand seriously. What do we get? We can hold Riften against anything the Empire can throw at it. I'm just gonna have Riften on the third. Gosh, I don't. Whatever I decide is in the best interests of Skyrim. Are we clear? <sighs> yes, my lord. Come on, Tullius. You can't seriously expect us to just hand over Riften at the negotiating table. You haven't been able to take it back yet. Why should we give it up now? I'm sure General Tullius does not expect something for nothing. Of course not. What will you offer for Riften, Tullius? Some empty promises? Maybe some more Imperial bluster? Enough, Galmar. Jarl Ulfric, what would you want in return? First, let me be clear. The Sons of Skyrim know from bitter experience that talking to the Empire is a waste of time. Or worse, Imperial promises are simply a way to lull you while they prepare a dagger for your back. Aye, we haven't forgotten Markarth Tullius. But I, I know what they're talking the about. Dragonborn's invitation but, to this council, hey. and I at least will negotiate in good faith. <laughs> the council was your idea, huh? So tell us. What do you think Riften is worth? Uh... I mean, we don't have the reach right now, do we? Mm. I mean, Morthril's more on their side. They already have those things! I don't understand. We have the left side. No, we have the right side. They have the left side. Morthril? In exchange for Riften, the jewel of Skyrim. Hardly. How about the Reach? Oh, Any I'm asking for what the they want. Mines would be Whoops. Oh. Yeah, actually, you're right. Markarth would be better. It's bigger. So, yeah, the Reach. Give us the Reach. I'm glad you agree. I was starting to wonder who yeah, side okay. you were on here. You heard what you said, Tullius. We've made you a fair offer. If you're really serious about this truce, you need to reconsider. You disappoint me, Dragonborn. I accepted your invitation to this council, despite your known association with the rebels. Okay. But it seems you have no intention of dealing fairly with me. I can see now that this is not I a mean, you want us to give up all. Riften. I know you, Ulfric. You have no intention of coming to terms. You're here to blacken the Empire's name, and I won't be party to it. If you think you can hold Riften, you're as deluded as you've always been. Soon enough, I'll have you back under the Headsman's Axe, and this time there won't be any dragon to save you. As well, you always, the, truth the Empire's you? fine words are worth nothing. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreement? Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphine? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. Does she know him? He is with me. And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned, the world eater. 
Even now, he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? I don't know about the end of the world, but this dragon situation has gotten out of hand. If this truce will help the dragonborn here put an end to that menace, we both gain. Remember that, Ulfric. Now, back to the matter at hand. You know I can't agree to these terms. The Emperor would repudiate this treaty and I would be recalled. Damn Imperial arrogance. I'm listening. We want compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. You slaughtered the very people you claim to be fighting for. True sons of Skyrim would never do such things. Damned Imperial lies. My men would never stoop to such methods, even in retaliation for This is our butchery. fault, Randolius. All the blood spilled in this war is on your head. So, Dragonborn. Ah, uh, what? What do you say? Uh, I don't know what happened. I should have known better than to expect you to give us a fair hearing. So it's fair if I take your Once side. Once again, the Empire takes the blame for the crimes of others. Don't hand me a mug of sheep's piss and call it Colovian brandy. These terms are still not acceptable. Shores, bones. I mean, if I wasn't on their side, I'd be saying the same thing. Let's hear it. We want Kralder removed as Jarl of Winterhold and an Imperial candidate put in his place. What next, Talius? Shall I just hand over all of Skyrim? Winterhold's I guess time. I have no choice but to let the Dragonborn decide. <gasps> Although I'm starting to doubt your fairness. Because I'm not taking your side. So, Dragonborn, what do you say? <sighs> I doesn't need to give up more territory. I... <laughs> I know people probably hate me for doing this, but I'm looking this up. Like, what? <sighs> Peace. Negotiation. Negotiate. Whatever. Okay. Season unending. I guess that's like what this quest is called. Cheese. Okay. 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 Oh, okay. I'm, I'm reading things. Okay, as before the peace treaty. Okay, negotiation one. The choice made counts as a score to the side the dragonborn agrees with. The disappointed side is not favored in the next round. They may threaten to leave negotiations depending on dragonborn's stance in the war. They never will, but at least say that they feel they are treated unfairly. Okay, so they've said it multiple times. Uh, Mark Arthur Riften. Stark folks who will demand the earth to be turned over. The Empire. Otherwise, if either side with the Imperials or no side selected, Ulfric will demand Markarth be surrendered. The opposing factions' reactions depend on the state of the civil war. The faction that controls Markarth or Riften asks the Dragonborn what they think, blah blah blah. The council goes along with the choices made. The side that controls Markarth or Riften will be unhappy if it is bargained for a minor hold. Negotiation 3. No, 4. Action has been favored less and thus the losing negotiations asked for additional concessions for each demand. <laughs> the Dragonborn chooses whether to agree with the concession. The Dragonborn continues, continues to favor one side. The other will eventually say that they will, after all, act for the greater good and they agree to the terms in any case. Okay, yeah, I still agree. <laughs> As I expected, you favor your friend. I do. <laughs> Come on, Ulfric. You have to give a little ground here. The dragons are a threat to us both. Let's hear it. Never mind. I can see that these <laughs> are the best terms we'll get from this council. So be it. The Empire at least puts the greater good above our own interests. It seems we may have an agreement. Alrighty. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Riften will be handed over to Imperial control. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Riften. Ugh. The Empire will withdraw its troops from the Reach, allowing Ulfric's forces unhindered access to Markarth. 
Jarl Igmund will go into exile, with Thongvor Silverblood taking his place as Jarl of Makarth. Why exile? You both agree to this? The sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold to theirs. What about you, Elisif? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. I appreciate your loyalty. These terms blatantly favor the rebels. Everyone here knows that. But the Empire will accept them until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Alfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. I don't understand why they can't just now be like, the okay, we'll stop fighting until the, the dragons reach, are done. We can put That's a it. Stop the why do we have to give each other things? Mines. That silver belongs to Skyrim. Leg it with me. Why did I get we that? We have a lot of work to do. Giving up Riften is a heavy price to pay for this truce, Dragonborn. I hope it was worth it. I know. Jarl Vignar. I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plan. I guess we're still talking. Yes, I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. But the difficulty word. remains how to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all. By Talos, that's an excellent question. I hope you haven't forgotten that mm -mm. little detail. No. Ah, I believe there I can be of help here. <laughs> I anticipated. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the Library of Skyhaven Temp, an unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing <sighs> is that the Blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cool. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Alduin has raised up. Uh, don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power. Shouts. They are? By calling I'll the dragon with yeah, I guess voice. So. He will hear you wherever he might be. He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Alrighty. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon after your victory over Alduin. I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. Already. Ah, indeed. I'm no master of the voice like these. You could gentlemen. just say it out loud. But it is written here in the scroll. <sighs> Oda Ving, winged snow hunter, as I read it. When I return ah, to I run up. Okay. I'll get my men ready to help trap this hey, dragon. Hey, 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 there's one more. You know what? Parthenax, uh -huh. the dragon that the Greybeards have been protecting <laughs> for all these years. He needs to die. No. He deserves to die. Nuh -uh. And it falls to you to kill him -uh. until he's dead. -uh. Well, I'm sorry, but we would dishonor our oaths as blades if we continue to help you. Nope. Not doing it. Nuh -uh. No! I don't want to kill him. The look on Tullius's face. Well, We're counting on you to make this all worthwhile. Worth the trip. When I return to um, White Run, I'll get my men can ready I to help trap. Talk to you again one more time. Do the right thing. Part. Make your choice, Dragonborn. You're either with us or against us. Here's the big picture. He helped Alduin enslave our ancestors. He may have betrayed Alduin in the end, but that makes him worse, not better. We can't afford to give Parthenax the opportunity to betray us in turn and return to his old master. But Perry... I don't want to kill Perry. He's my buddy. So if I go out here, are they all still walking down the mountain? Nope. Here, here, though. <clears throat> uh, can I talk to you real quick? Yes. What it? Hi. Justice. 
can be hard, <laughs> but it is still justice. Parthenax deserves to die. Parthenax was the author of many atrocities during the Dragon War. Crimes great enough to be remembered for thousands of years. True, he turned traitor to Alduin and helped overthrow the Dragon Cult, but that does not excuse or expiate his previous deeds. Whether or not he has truly repented, merely acted to save himself, justice demands that he pay with his life. <sighs> okay. That's all. Yeah, that's all. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not killing him. I'm going to talk him. Talk him. I'm going to talk him. <laughs> um. Parvax, Perry, buddy. Hey. I gotta talk to you. Buddy. Buddy of how? Hey. Drem your lock. Greetings. The blades are wise not to trust me. Only Khan I would not trust another Dova. Dov Walan Farel. We were made to dominate. The will to power is in our blood. You feel it in yourself, do you not? I can be trusted. I know this, but they do not. Only Khan Neov Dova. It is always wise to mistrust a Dova. I have overcome my nature only through meditation and long study of the way of the voice. No day goes by where I am not tempted to return to my inborn nature. Zingriforwut say Suliech. What is better, to be born good? or to overcome your evil nature through great effort. You live. Look through. Bye, buddy. I'll see you later. Uh, okay, now there's snow up here that doesn't melt. Um, is it this here? Wait, do you know where snow is that doesn't melt? Okay. Um, going to the very, very tippy top. Mm -hmm. No, don't worry about giving me a lift. I can get it. Mm -hmm. I will find the snow that doesn't melt. I can get up there. The very tippy top. It is very windy up here. Very, very windy. Yeah. Oh! There is, uh... Ebony up here! And Malachite! Oh, cool! There's Ebony! Good stuff. But, uh... Oh! <gasps> yes! Gimme! Oh, it's the notched one! Yeah! <laughs> it's the notched pickaxe! Oh, that's a reference to, uh... Minecraft. It's supposed to work. Do I have any now or is it a lie? It's a lie. Okay. I'm getting a little bit. Quest. No. After. Uh, here we go. Unmelting snow. 
I already have a dragon bait sword, I don't need the blades. Ah, I gotta stay hydrated. Ah, my nose. It hurts. My head. Okay. Excuse me, the Greybeards okay. have arranged a truce between the Stormcloaks and Imperials. Shush! How long can such a thing last? Shush! Until the dragon is gone. Dragons are gone, except for Perry. Perry must survive. Ready. As I promised, my men stand ready. The great done? chains are oiled. We wait on your word. Cool, let's go. I am ready. Let's go. My trap men dragon. know what to do. Make sure you do your mm -hmm. part. I'm putting my city in your hands. Okay. Switch, switch. There we go. I will call him. My nose is itchy. Great porch. <laughs> great porch. That's funny. Oh, my head. Alrighty, who are you? I'm just a random guard. Hi. Let's get this over with. You're crazy. Sorry. Um, I do not know the shout. To be We're honest. ready when you are. Do I know the shout? Be under O. Um, do, do I do it automatically? What, what happens? How do I? Okay, um, now you know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and call this dragon of yours. We're ready. Okay. Um. How? Oh, here we go. Call dragon. Jesus. What? I did it. Ugh, defeat. Okay, great. Where? Oh, hello. Hi. Hello. Oh, not that one. No. Oh, I'm wheeling a pickaxe. Thank you. Chances are all. I don't think you'll fly away. Ah, yes, you will. You must land. Land, right here. <coughs> Please land. You must. You must land. My things can't fight you. There we go. Hi. Hello. Yes. Could you not? Oh, that's not healing. Ba ba da ba di da 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 da. Maybe I should use the actual dragon blade.
very well. Charge that does it. Oh no, it does. <laughs> Ow! I claim the glory of the defeat of a king. Now you doubt. Now you doubt. Now you doubt. Now you doubt. Ah, oh, you do. No. Ha ha, got you in. Ha ha. Hi. I captured you. Got him. Ha. What? I think it's holding. Du Ubona. <laughs> you Hi. went to a great deal of trouble mm -hmm. to put me in this humiliating position. All we do is capture your head. Alduin. Hmm? Hmm? No doubt you want to know where to find Alduin. Yes. Renik Vaza, an apt phrase. Alduin, Boval. One reason I came to your call was to test your thorn for myself. Many of us have begun to question Alduin's lordship, whether his thorn was truly the strongest. Uh -uh, mine is. Among ourselves, of course, Muni Maie, none were yet ready to openly defy him. Once Lord Croesus, innumerable pardons, I digress. He has traveled to Sovngarde to regain his strength, of course he devouring has. the Silesur, the souls of the mortal dead, a privilege he jealously guards. His door to Sovngarde is at Skaldafin, one of his ancient fanes high in the eastern mountains. Mm -hmm. I surely do not need to warn you that all his remaining strength is marshaled there. The Ulost of an Hinlan. Now that I have answered your question, you will allow me to go free? Yeah. Um? Serve you? No. Need aid. If and when you defeat Alduin, I will reconsider. All right. Hmm, Croesus. There is one detail about Skaldafen I neglected to wait. mention. Only this. You have the Thurm of a Dova. Oh, yeah. But without the wings of one, you there. will never set foot in Skaldafen. You want to help me? Of course. <gasps> I could fly I gotta let there, you free. I already said that. But not while imprisoned like this. Trophy here in the Fallen. Uh, yeah. Onikan Korav Gain Mirad. It is wise to recognize when you only have one choice. I mean, no, I could invent the airplane. And you can <laughs> trust me. Zuni Tarudis. Alduin has proven himself unworthy to rule. I go my own I way now. Before talking to you. Free me. Yes. And I will carry you to Skaldafin. Alrighty. Gonna put that away. Uh, how do I do this? You gonna do it for me? No. Okay. Um. Hey. A captive dragon. Just think of the possibilities. Haha. <laughs> no. Incredible. How do I? Sir, you have no idea how long I have waited for such an opportunity. I would be most appreciative if you would permit me to no. perform some. Uh, oh my God! You're talking to a dragon, dude. On you, purely in the interests of the advancement of knowledge. Be gone, mage. Do not test my promise to the Dovahkiin. How do I let him go? I assure you, you will not even notice me. Most of them are hardly painful hey, at all. Hey, hey, hey! Get away from him! Get away from him! 
Uh, give me a second. Well, I kind of want to see where this goes. I mean, it's not gonna kill him, right? Surely you wouldn't miss a few scales. Oh God! A small You're gonna get blood. smacked. Jume, what are you doing back there? Oh, you're gonna get smacked. <laughs> Could you not? I mean, you're burning. I guess that was in pain. Sorry, buddy. Uh, hey, let him go. You'll be the toast of White Run for this. Yeah. Okay. I'm how? Done talking how do anyway. I? Oh, up there. Okay. You're getting pretty good at this dragon fighting business. Yes, I am. Thank you. Uh, hi. Something. Open You're it. Sure about that? Yes. You want to let that dragon loose after all the trouble to catch him in there? Yes. Your funeral. Mm -hmm. Someone else is going to have to help you get him back in there again. Nah. Get all ready right. to open the trap. Uh, uh, okay. This seems like a really bad idea to me. <laughs> I just love the way he said that. He's like, ah, I'm just gonna voice my opinion here. There you go. Hey, 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 Are you ready to see the world as only a Dover can? I can. I mean, I am. Saranuth. I await your command as yes. promised. Are you ready to see the world as only a Dova can? I'm ready. So great of I'm probably not ready. I should have gotten help over you God. Once you flown <laughs> the skies of oh, Kaisal, God. your Die. envy so of the times. Dove will only oh, increase. Man. Okay. Up we go. Oh, I don't want to have my right boots Away! Thank you, Alfina. Yep. Alright, as soon as I get to a point where I can pause, I'm gonna end this episode. Next one. Be in Sovngarde, I guess. Wait, pausing now. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you guys in the next one. I just wrote a dragon.